I literally just came upstairs and it is right after 10. It is 10.02. The goal is to sew all day long because I just need to pump out a bunch of small flower bags for this restock I want to do. And I just don't have time this week because on the weekend, I'm going to Copenhagen. So we're sewing for like 10, maybe 12 hours today. I think it's going to be 10. Let's be realistic. Where to start? Most importantly, I think my setup. I shared it on my stories before but I love to work with a timer. I always like put a countdown for like an hour or something because then I make little goals for myself so I stay on track. I think I'm gonna do my first goal of two hours and I wanna start just by finish cutting out some more flower bags so later on I can sew a bunch of them with the same color thread so I'm not switching my thread all the time. I actually started to cut some last night. I cut these two, the flower ones, and I cut some baby pink ones, which I think would be really sweet for the spring. But I think I can cut like two, three more of these. Yeah, okay, 10 hours. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> nice, now you get a view of the whole studio. goal of the day is to sew or like have minimum 10 flower bags i think i'm at five so i think that's a pretty ah no i should probably make it higher let's say like 15 i don't know if i can do it but goals that's what i want we're gonna attempt that but of course if you want to stay updated i do have the newsletter now i changed my newsletter schedule i'm not doing it weekly because honestly i <laughs> Did not have time for that and i felt like i was like stressing out over it so i'm changing it to a monthly newsletter at the end of every month i'm going to do like a month recap and kind of like what the plans are for the next month but then i'm going to intersperse it with like if i have releases of course i'm going to send like a smaller newsletter strictly about releases and if you are a subscriber you do get 30 minute access before everyone else so it's worth it to subscribe <laughs> and I've cut three more bags out. We are on a really good roll right now and I keep rolling them up just so I know that all the pieces are together. It always keeps me organized so I know every roll is complete and like ready to be sewn. So I think I actually have six of these yeah in total which is nice. I want to get in the habit of like when I have free time, I don't really have free time, but when I have an evening where I can be sewing and I don't have anything else crucial to do, then I want some bags that I can just like quickly sew. That way I can like keep adding to the website or not have to sew for 10 hours one day. I'm trying to be efficient, trying to plan ahead. <laughs> this is the next fabric. And I think this one's gonna be a popular one because people love a floral flower bag. First we press and then we cut. Okay, we're done with the cutting. It's now 12.30. 12.30. And I swear, I swear I'm more efficient. I just had to run downstairs, take a photo for my thumbnail from last week's video. And what else did I have to do? Oh, I also had to film an outro also for last week's video. So I did do some things, <laughs> but do you remember this one? It's the one I got from Helsinki. I tried to remember where I thrifted all of them. And I think, I think this one is Helsinki as well. And this one, if I'm, not mistaken, but it's exciting to use fabrics I thrifted from so long ago. 
This is what one of them looks like. Oh, it's so windy. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this up and then the game plan moving forward because I think I now have six over there, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and a half to sew. I definitely will not finish them all, but I'm going to start with things that use white stitching because that's what my machine is threaded for. This one I think I'm gonna use white stitch on. Oh, a white stitch on here because I don't have color. Oh, I have like this turquoise -y one. This is the one I was thinking of. Let's see if it matches. Oh, not too shabby. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, it's like perfect. Who knew this color would come in handy? Okay. I organized all the other threads. Look how nice. There's a lot to be sewn with pink though. I'm going to finish this and it's just one of them, I guess. Oh, why did I? Oh, because I ran out of the bias. That's why I stopped on it. But I did cut some out last night and then just all the straps are done and then sew the straps on. I have finished the painted bag. Okay, that's not a cute way to hold it. There we go, you can kind of see it now. It matches the jacket, the small jacket that we have. But I'm gonna go downstairs because I'm getting so hungry and to keep sewing this much, I need food. Sustenance. See you soon. <laughs> it is so cold. But we're back. We had a good lunch. I'm full now. And we're gonna start with waves bag? I think I just wanna call them waves because there's waves. All the prep is done. So now I'm gonna whip through this, but I just realized it is 221. And I feel like I have not done much. I finished one bag and cut it a bunch. So I'm gonna whip through this. Usually a bag takes me around an hour, but that's like full process, like pressing and absolutely everything. So let's see how long this takes. I think I'm gonna put a timer on and then I'll check back with you when it's done and see how it went. We are on schedule. No, we are ahead of schedule. I completed both of them and it's only 3.41. Like I have 40 minutes left in my two hour timer, which is amazing. So now I'm gonna start on this one. I just need to look at a whole new color right now and I'm excited to see what this one looks like because I loved this fabric when I first saw it. Next. Just finished two more. I finished these ones. Super cute. I really like how they turned out and it's like, oh, it's six o'clock now. So we've been at it for a while and I think I'm gonna do it for like two more hours. But first, oh, I really need to do stretches, like especially my arm, my arm is hurting. Oh, I can hear it like cracking <laughs> and my back. Oh yeah. Oh, I think just like how I'm sitting and like maybe the height of the sewing machine is not actually the best, but I can't really do anything about it. Oh yeah. With the last two hours out, I'm gonna just sew these last two, just because that's really all I have left. <laughs> I have six of these, and then three of the floral ones, more like when I do photos next week. Of course, I just need one to take the photo of, and when I have time after work or something, I'm just gonna like keep plugging away at the rest of them, and that should be possible. And I feel like I'm just gonna call it a day because my back is actually starting to really hurt, and I just need, I need to rest and stretch. <laughs> and do something about it. But last two, let's go. I have completed the day today. 
we have six minutes. I still have a couple things to do. I just have to give it one last press and I'll show you all the ones that I have completed today. It's 7.54, we are right on time. Like this concludes 10 hours and I feel it, feel it in my body, to be honest. And I just need to add all the outside logos, but I wanted to do that all in one shot anyways. But let's go check out all of the completed ones. I think they look good. A lot of straps. <laughs> Some cute little prints. I actually really like the blush pink. I think it's very soft and cute. And the painted one, the wavy one. Of course, you'll get a way better look when I make the actual photos and I put it up on the website. I think I'm gonna do the launch in two weeks. Actually, two weeks for me. And I think it's actually next week for you when this video comes out. If I need to correct myself, I will put it on the screen. <laughs> but if you want to stay updated, of course, with the exact dates, just follow my Instagram or subscribe to the newsletter because that's where I'll actually share the official time and the day of the small flower bag restock. I'm gonna go downstairs now. I need to like really give myself a good stretch, sit on the couch, do nothing, and chill for a second. But I will see you next week. Bye!